there are times when in creating a database for a bookstore or a or your personal book collection that you you run up across a book like this book it's an older book published in 1991 and in fact it doesn't even have the ISBN on the outside cover you have to look on the inside cover and when you look at the ISBN you see that they only give you 10 digits well there are times when you want to make sure that you have the 13 digit equivalent of this particular thing so I'm going to show you today how to how to take care of that right within the database without much effort. So here I'm going to use this example of a, a Stephen King novel that I have on my shelf. But the whole point is here on the back, you have an ISBN 13 listed. You also have the ISBN 10. And notice that the ISBN 10 lines up almost identical to the ISBN 13 with the exception of putting 978 in the front and you have this digit in the back that's different. Well, that digit in the back is called the check digit. And what I'm going to do is show you that calculating that check digit isn't all that difficult. In fact, if you go to our friend Wikipedia, what you find is that it gives you information on where it is found in the ISBN agency's official user manual and then it tells you how to uh, to calculate that. So it's the sum of all 13 digits multiplied by an integer alternating, alternating between one and three and has to be a multiple of 10. Well, okay, that's kind of interesting. Well, the way to calculate that is using modular arithmetic. So if I were to put what they said in the ISBN uh, 13 check digit uh, description up there and render it into a mathematical formula. Um, just like taking it as a word problem and putting it into words, what you have is the first digit and then the second digit times three, the third digit and the fourth digit times three, the fifth digit and on and on until you get all the way to the end. And that in modular arithmetic, which is the three dash equals sign, the remainder of that has to be zero. In other words, in a mod 10, in other words, divided by 10, you have to have a remainder of zero at the end. So how does that get calculated? Well, if you really want to calculate that, what it looks like is this, an ISBN 10 is listed there. So for an ISBN 10, 13, you then put 978 in front of it, you list the other numbers, and then you've got this question mark digit in the back. We're going to work through calculating that manually and then I'll show you how to do that in code. So we're going to take that question mark and we're going to take the first digit, 9, and then the 7, and then the 8. And remember this funky thing they said you alternate multiplying at times 1 and 3? Well, you see that 9 is multiplied by 1, then the second one multiplied by 3, the third one multiplied by 1, and on and on. You see 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1. And so I've taken these digits that were in this number up here and just laid them out against 1, 3, alternating. And when I do that, here's what you have. You have, you know, 9 here, and then 21 here, and then 8, 1 here. And as, a, as I go all the way to the end, if I then add them up, they come up to 93. If I then take and divide by 10, I get a remainder of 3. Or in mathematical terms, if I do 93 mod 10, I get a remainder of 3. Um, mod 10 is equals 3. If I take the 10 minus the 3 and gives me to give me a 7, I then can put that 7 at the end. And when I look back again at the label, here it is a 7. So I've proven out that I can do it manually. Now how do I do it when I have actual code? So let's take a look at the code that it takes in order to do this. And so I'm going to walk it through. I, I put it in Notepad++ so that I could just walk through the code as it works. I'm going to dimension several variables. First off, I'm calling my function convert ISBN and I send it an ISBN 10. 
So ISBN 10 is going to end up being my string that comes in from my program. And then convert ISBN is the value that I'm going to send back after the program gets done working. So I need a few variables. I need an ISBN 13 variable. I need to parse this text string that I'm sent off into an array of nine digits. Because what I want to do is take the first nine digits of that ISBN 10 per the instructions and I need to convert them to digits. So they're going to get converted to integers and I'll show you how in here, here in a moment. Then I have to have a counter. I have to have a check digit. That's that final digit that I'm going to tack at the end. Um, and it needs to be an integer. So getting actually into my code, it's going to look like this. First off, if the length of the ISBN 10 isn't 10, I'm going to stop. Because if I got sent an ISBN 13 or I got sent something else, whatever it is, if it's not the length of 10, I'm going to assume it's not an ISBN 10 and we're just going to bail out and we're going to go down here and not convert anything. We're just going to send back the ISBN 10. So our convert ISBN actually doesn't do anything. It just goes back. Once I have figured out that it's actually 10 digits, I'm going to set my counter at 0 to 8, which is 9 the first nine characters, right? Because zero is my first check digit. Um, so digits counter. So I'm going to set up my array. I'm going to run through my array. Now C int is a conversion from character to integer. So each character is going to get converted. I'm going to go into my mid string, but I'm going to tell it which one based on the counter here. I'm going to tell it which character to convert. And then I'm going to increment the counter one by one. So I'm going to go through, loop through it until I've established my uh, digits array. And then I'm going to set my counter back to zero again. Now, this is, this is going to get a little funky. I'm going to set my check digit already at 38. Well, that's interesting. The reason why is because I don't need to recalculate every single time what nine times one and three and seven times three and eight times one is because that is always going to equal 38. So while my counter is still less than 10, because I'm only going to do the first nine, I'm going to say my check digit equals check di equals digits counter times three. In other words, I'm going to move into the third value already before I even start. Uh, plus digits counter plus one. So I'm going to then add the next one to it. So I'm going to start with the third one, add the next one to it. I'm going to then loop over to my counter plus two, which means really I'm only calculating the ones that have threes in them at first. So I continue to loop through this, adding the ones times three and the ones times one. And then I'm going to loop to the next one. And I'm going to keep doing that until, of course, I get all nine of them. OK, and then I'm going to take check digit. Now that I've added all of the nine characters up here, I'm going to take ten, check digit mod 10, which means I'm looking for just the remainder. And then I'm going to take that remainder from 10. And then if that number is actually 10, okay, in other words, this check digit ends up being zero to begin with, I'm going to say, well, it, stay, it needs to stay at zero. I can't have a check digit more than, you know, two characters long. And then I can assemble everything. ISBN equals 978 plus the left nine characters of the original ISBN 10 and the check digit that I calculated. So then I can say my ISBN 13 gets to be the value of convert ISBN. Notice it's the name of the function, so it's going to get sent back. And then when I've done that, I end the function. So I hope this ends up being of value to you. You can see the code there on the screen. We've used it for a long time in our book business. So if you like which is what you found here, hit the like button for me so we can get this out to more people. And uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.